Now we have no diagram. Let's solve this triangle, finding the angles and the sides. So we have an angle C, which is 140. That 140 degrees is quite wide. So we're going to just draw a triangle like this, and we'll call this angle C, and label it 140 degrees. Not quite 180, but bigger than 90. So we have the angle C here, and let's just extend out a line here connecting these. And we can see that the length C is quite large, 30. It's always opposite the angle. This is C equals 30. And the B is quite short, so let's label this as B equals 6. And this here is capital B, and this here is capital C, and this would be A. So we wrote down the givens, and we need to solve. Now to solve, we can play catch. We have side length B is 6, so let's figure out the angle B over here. And we have the angle, and we can play catch across for the C's. So we have sine law, sine 140 over 30, equals sine of B over 6. We multiply both sides by 6, so we have sine B equals 6 times sine 140 over 30. Thus, sine B is approximately, using your calculator, 0.128557 dot dot dot, etc. We hit sine inverse, and we get B is approximately 7.39 degrees. And visually, this looks correct. We now have two angles. We have C, we have B, and now let's figure out A. We know that the three angles add up to 180. So 140 plus B, which is around 7.39, plus A equals 180. Using your calculator, we have A equals 180 minus 140 minus 7.39 which is approximately 32.6 degrees. So we have all the angles and we have length B and C. Let's also figure out length A. So this lowercase a represents the length. We have A over sine A and angle A happens to be around 32. Keep all those decimals in your calculator. So we'll just write 32.6 equals C, which is 30 over sine of C, which is 140. We solve A by multiplying both sides by the denominator. So we have A equals 30 over sine 140 multiplied by the denominator sine 32.6-ish. Using your calculator, we have A is approximately 25.2 units, and now we fully solve this triangle.